Paraview and QGIS are two open-source software tools that together allow combining advanced visualization with GIS. We will explore how to prepare geophysical data using Paraview for upload into QGS. Paraview can be used for displaying images, but I will talk about this at another time. Loading vertical sections into QGIS is problematic, so I will convert the profiles into point datasets. Here I am uploading one of my geophysical profiles in SegY format and adjusting the vertical and horizontal scales as well as the location of the ground surface. Because QGIS is less capable to display large datasets, I will limit the size of point sets by filtering out the parts which are not relevant for geologic interpretation. By right-clicking on my profile and pipeline browser, I am opening HyperTree Grid from Add Filter menu and selecting Threshold Filter. In Properties of the new subset I created, I can display it as points and adjust its geometry. When the vertical and horizontal scales as well as location of the ground level on my profile are set, I can filter trace amplitude values to limit the dataset to relevant points which carry geological information. By limiting the subset to values of wavelet amplitude which correspond with geophysical interfaces, I will be able to upload the profile for display in QGS. I have repeated the same process to create another subset for the negative amplitude spectrum. Here it is harder to filter out the amplitude values associated with noise in the bottom part of the profile. I can save both subsets as CSV files. Parview is a general 3D display software so later I will need to adjust the attribute fields. In order to create my interpretation of geologic boundary, I can select points on one of the subsets. I click on Add Selection from the Layout menu and then on Select Points on button. Alternatively, I can press D on my keyboard before selecting each point. I am starting from the point where the depth to the top of Cretaceous is known from Borehole 1. After picking the points representing the top of Cretaceous, I can extract the selected points as a separate pipeline within Paraview by selecting Add Filter and Extract Selection from Data Analysis menu. Next I will set the new point set's geometry by typing the same values as for the geophysical profile. I can rename the extracted point set as the top of Cretaceous. Now after adjusting the geometry my interpretation can be saved as a CSV file for uploading into QGS. While adding my profile as a delimited text layer in QGIS I need to specify its attribute fields. QGIS is a great tool for data processing, allowing analyses that are not available with Parview. I will continue exploring the use of geophysical data in QGIS in the next video. Thank you for watching this. Please subscribe to follow the channel.